know this fool ain't about the same. I would make sure my clones don't give any slack. <laughs> I would treat people bad. That's a well-known fact. Imagine that. Now, let me tell you something about me. Go ahead. My name is Carvey, y'all. Just call me Dr. C. And when my plan is in a thick, I'm gonna be bossing me. I got some super cheese. I got some genome soup. We're going overseas. We're going to the U.S. Peanuts for president. That makes us be our peace. Broadcast on nightly news. You're crying on your knees. Washington Carver was most likely born in 1864 during the Civil War. A week after his birth, he was kidnapped and sold in Kentucky, to later then be found and returned back to Missouri. Following the end of slavery, George's former owner, Suzanne Carver, taught him and his brother how to read and write. Carver then left home to attend a school for black children 10 miles away and started calling himself George Carver. He was denied acceptance into Highland College in Kansas once the school learned of his race. Carver then moved to Amos and began his botanical studies as the first black student to attend Iowa State. After graduating, Carver embarked on a career teaching and conducting research at the Tuskegee Institute. Booker T. Washington hired Carver as head of the school's agricultural department in 1896. George Washington Carver was one of the most prominent scientists and inventors as well as a teacher at the Tuskegee Institute. He designed over 100 products using only one major crop, which was the peanut. These products included dyes, plastic, and even gasoline. Carver established the George Washington Carver Foundation at Tuskegee Institute for Agricultural Research. A monument of him stands in Diamond, Missouri as the first national monument dedicated to an African American. 